much again for joining us for today's Needy Med special topic webinar, Pack Health, a free resource for personalized support. My name is Carla and I'm the Education Coordinator here at Needy Med. And before we get started with today's presentation, I'm going to go over just a few housekeeping tips. You can feel free to submit questions at any time throughout the webinar by typing them into the question section of your GoToWebinar control panel. But just know we are going to reserve answering questions until the end. If we don't have time to answer all of the questions, please know we will follow up with you personally via email after the webinar. We also want you to know that the webinar is being recorded and will be available for viewing on our YouTube page soon. So let's get started. Um, for those of you that are joining us that are not familiar with who Needy Meds is, we are a national nonprofit. And as you can see on your screen right now, that's our mission statement. We are dedicated to educating and empowering those seeking affordable health care. And I always put a snapshot of our, the Needy Meds homepage on a presentation, um, just because that really is the face of our organization. Um, and although the image is a bit warped, it also gives you a sense as to some other webinars we have coming up later in the month. But getting back to our mission, as I said, a, an important part of it is educating people. And we really define that in two, two ways. Certainly by letting them know about Needy Meds and the resources we have to offer, but also letting them know about other ways to save on the healthcare expenses and stay healthy in general which is why we are thrilled to have our guest panelists here with us today. It's my pleasure to introduce Uma. And Uma, go ahead and pronounce your last name for me before I mess it up. Shravastava. There we go. <laughs> so again, it's my pleasure to introduce Uma. She is the Associate Director of Strategic Partnerships for Pack Health. Um, and listen to this resume, because I'm blown away by it. Uma holds a master's, master's degree of science in biotechnology from the University of Alabama in Birmingham, and a bachelor's in biology, chemistry, and Spanish from UAB. Uma worked at the National Institutes of Health before joining PAC Health, and now, as a member of the PAC Health team, she oversees project management, manages social media, manages security and compliance, and maintains strategic partnerships. She was actually recently awarded Rising Star in Healthcare by the Birmingham Business Journal. We're thrilled to have her here today, and we're thrilled to have her um, explaining what PAC Health is and how it can help you, your patients, or your family members staying on track, taking care of yourself. During this presentation, Uma is going to showcase PAC Health, which is an organization that provides accountability and one-on-one -on -one support in the form of a coach whose number one priority is helping you regain, regain control of your health. This is a digital coaching service. So what that means is they'll work with you on your schedule, either on the phone or online or both. They currently have sponsored membership slots available for individuals with psoriasis, rheumatoid arthritis, irritable bowel disease, and multiple sclerosis. And Uma, go ahead and update that for me when you get started if the list is inaccurate or needs to be expanded. Sure. This webinar, thanks, this webinar will provide more information about the opportunity and answer any questions you have. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and pass the mic and the screen on to today's guest. And again, that's Uma. So bear with us a moment while we make that transition. And Uma, you should be able to go ahead and take it away. Thanks, everybody, and enjoy. Got it. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Carla, are you able to see my main screen? I can, and I can hear you perfectly clearly. So Perfect. you're good to go. Great. Well, thank you so much again, everybody, for attending this webinar um, this afternoon. I hope you had a light lunch so you won't be snoozing away. 
Um, if you have any questions throughout the presentation, please feel free to send them to us in the questions box, and we'll be sure to address them either right after the webinar or through a personal follow-up. Again, my name is Uma Shirasova. Thank you once again, Carla and the Needy Mets team for partnering with us and allowing us this opportunity to share some of our resources and programs that we have with um, folks out there. So we are Pack Health. We are a uh, digital health coaching solution. We were founded a little over three years ago here in Birmingham, Alabama, where our founder realized that there's a fairly big gap in healthcare, especially for patients when they go to their doctor's office and come home and then have to take care of themselves on their own. So we were founded in 2013 and we now cover 20 different chronic conditions. We started off with type 2 diabetes, cancer, rheumatoid arthritis, and then very quickly realized that since we're doing non-clinical work, um, mostly behavior change, that a lot of these core behaviors are the same throughout these different chronic conditions. Um, we're in all 50 states. We are a digital, so you don't have to drive anywhere to go to any sort of education class. We work with you on your own time, whether that be 7 a.m., 2 p.m. or 8 p.m. All you need is a phone number, um, working cell phone, or home phone, that's it. And then if you want, we can also supplement that with text messages and emails. Till date, we have engaged over 5,300 patients and counting, and we have engaged roughly 1.2 minutes um, on the phone. We are HIPAA secure. The patient data does not go anywhere. It is saved in our database. It's locked away. Um, so I just wanted to take some time today to explain what our program is and the solution that we are offering. So here's the problem. Uh, we all know this fairly well, that we're usually awake on average 6,000 hours every year. And most of us probably spend one to two hours of that at the doctor's office. The rest of the 5,999 hours, we're on our own. Um, beyond the doctor's office, searching on Google, reading WebMD, talking to family members about their personal experiences. And healthcare is very personalized. It's very different from person to person. So what your neighbor might experience with diabetes is going to be different than what you experience. Or we hear a lot of people say, yeah, you know, my aunt had diabetes and her toe got chopped off, so I'm pretty sure my toe is going to get chopped off. That's not the case. We're here to help you with that, to provide that extra guidance and motivation. Um, another thing is, is that a lot of information gets lost in translation. So when you're sitting at the doctor's office and your doctor is telling you, hey, look, I'm sorry, you've got type 2 diabetes, your mind might just blink out after that and just think, oh, my gosh, I've got this chronic condition now. And you might not be able to understand what treatments your doctor is telling you, what lifestyle changes you have to make. So that's where we step in. We'll say, you know, tell us what your doctor's told you, what are some of his recommendations, and we'll make sure that you're doing those so when you visit your doctor, next time you can tell them hey look I'm doing everything you asked me to and check out these awesome changes um, and there's just another study that we found it's a little sad and unfortunate but we found out that loneliness is as bad as for your health as smoking a pack of cigarettes so sometimes people need people a lot of our older patients always tell our health advisors you call me more than my grandparents you really do take care of me sometimes folks just need an additional ear a shoulder just to listen to and have that partner and like I said, health behaviors account for about 50% of all outcomes. Yes, medications and treatments are very important, but it's very important also to supplement that with the appropriate lifestyle changes. And we're very structured humans, so we've provided a structured support system to help with that change. So we cover, as I said, 20 different chronic conditions, but here is a list of the conditions that are currently covered through a grant. So um, this is at no cost to you, to your doctor, to the clinic, to the health system. What we do here is we apply for grants and receive funding. So right now we have funding for the prediabetes program where we make sure your A1C is below that 6.5 so you're not diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Um, if you are suffering through cancer or with cancer, I'm sorry, and have a lot of pain and fatigue issues, we'll help you with that. Um, it doesn't matter what type of cancer you have. It could be colon, breast, lung, any sort of rare cancer. We just want to make sure that your symptoms are being taken care of. We have a whole host of autoimmune conditions, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, inflammatory bowel disease, multiple sclerosis, 
Um, and then in the pulmonary department, we've got COPD, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. We can also help you with uh, chronic bronchitis and emphysema. And then we also have programs for hepatitis C. So again, if you see any of these conditions and you think of yourself, your neighbors, any family members, let them know that at the end of this webinar they can sign up. They'll get their own personal health advisor who is going to be theirs so they can build this great relationship and get the accountability and help they need. We work with a lot of fantastic folks um, since we are a national company. We work very closely with the COPD Foundation. Um, we're currently working with the American Heart Association to build a hypertension program. Uh, work very closely with the National Psoriasis Foundation, American Cancer Society, as well as the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. So we work with these guys to make sure that the content we're giving out to our members is accurate, it's adherent to the guidelines. Um, we also work closely with different healthcare systems, so different hospitals like Pharmacy Advantage, American Family Care, MD Anderson, as well as Brookwood Baptist. And just a side note, uh, PAC Health is also covered for different employers as an added benefit to their employees. So we are working with HealthSouth, the UAB Health System, as well as Protective Life to make sure that their employees are on the right path to being healthy and staying healthy. So. What happens when you sign up? It's very simple to do that. Uh, you can get signed up through a doctor, through a hospital, a support group, or other channels such as uh, Needy Meds here, or through your employer. Uh, very easy to become a member. Here's a screenshot, and I, in the next few slides, I've got a larger version of that that I'll be able to show you. And so once you sign up, you get assigned a health advisor who is your very own personal dedicated health advisor. Um, they are non-clinical, but they come from a healthcare background. So they have masters in public health, social work, pharmacy tech, exercise physiologist, dietist, nutritionist. Um, you get this nice box in the mail. I'm sorry, the picture is just a little small, but everything is written on a fourth to fifth grade reading level. And it comes with condition-specific tools and guides. Um, it comes with a day tracker. So that way, for example, when you have IBD, we'll ask you to track everything you're eating, drinking, and all the exercise you're doing for a week, as well as stress, any pain, fatigue that you might have. After that, we'll ask you to you know, share it with us, whether that's scanning it in, mailing it in, are taking a picture and sending it to us and then we'll sit down with you and say looks like you had some flare-ups on Tuesday could that be because of the breakfast or the lunch you ate or you know let's help you figure out a better exercise plan so we want to cater it to what your needs are because like I said everyone is different everybody's condition is different um, you get weekly phone calls from your health advisor. They usually last about 10 to 15 minutes where your health advisor will check in on you, make sure that you're sticking to the goals you've set, making sure if you have any questions, we're there to answer them. And then we follow that up by three different text messages and emails if you want to send you some more content based on some of the barriers that you might have or just curious about learning more about diet or you know different sorts of exercises. So we set up our program in quarterly uh, buckets just because it's easier to think that way. So at the beginning of the program, you'll set a quarterly goal. Um, it's something that we want you to be able to achieve and attain. So if you say my quarterly goal is to run a marathon, we'll say, you know what, I think that's a great idea, but why don't we set a quarterly goal to be a 10K or a 5K this quarter? And then maybe at the end of the year, you know, you can attempt to run a marathon. Um, we track well-being, we'll track any clinical metrics, everything is patient reported, so we'll never, you know, ask you for, hey, uh, you know, let's sign in to your, um, or, you know, connect us to your EMR, we'll just say, why don't you log into your EMR and let us know what some of those clinical numbers are, so that way we can help you lower that A1C, lower that LDL, things like that. Um, kind of briefly went through this, but you'll receive three text messages, you'll get a micro lesson, and then at the end of the quarter, we'll review with you how your goal was. So were you able to run that 10K or that 5K? Um, if you did, that's great, you know, let's set another goal. If you didn't, what were some of the barriers that you faced? What are some things that we can um, change to help you reach that goal next quarter? And we'll make sure to give you this nice looking report that you can take back to your doc so your doctor and your whole care team can see all the changes that you're making and all the improvements that uh, you're seeing. 
So very quickly, like I said earlier, that we recognize there are some core behaviors that are very similar regardless of what chronic condition you might have. Um, so we've created different modules based on those. So we always start off the program by making sure you understand what condition you might have. So with type 2 diabetes, do you know about high, um, you know, high blood sugars, low blood sugars? Do you know what to do in both instances if you end up with that? Uh, making sure you understand what A1Cs are, your important numbers. Then we move into motivation and goal setting. So what's your motivation to get healthier, intrinsic as well as extrinsic? And then we move into healthy habits. So what are some of the healthy habits that you already have? You might already be drinking enough water every day, or you might already be getting the uh, right appropriate number of fruits you're supposed to eat. You might just need a little more help in another department like sleep or stress management. Um, medications, we make sure that you have the access and you're taking the medications like you're supposed to. So if you're unable to take your medications for cost purposes, we'll connect you with needy meds to make sure that you can get on a, a copay assistance program. Or if you're having trouble driving to your pharmacy, then we'll make sure to get you on mail to order pharmacy so that way your medications are delivered to your doorstep. Then we move into healthy eating. We want to make sure you're eating according to what your doctors told you based on your condition. So as you know, for certain conditions like RA or psoriasis or IBD, there are certain foods that cause flare-ups. We want to make sure we're well educated on that and that we're avoiding those foods, as well as according to uh, eating according to the healthy plate. So here, we don't really believe in counting car calories or keeping track of that. We just want to make sure you're getting the right amount of the different food portions. Then we move on to exercise. So we totally understand that getting 10,000 steps a day is not everybody's cup of tea or exercising for 150 minutes every week. So we want to break it down into bite sizes and go from there. So we'll give you a simple pedometer. Now, if you have something better like a Apple Watch or a Fitbit or something like that, then by all means continue to use that. But for folks just starting off, um, you know, they can start off with this pedometer and then upgrade later. We also give you a stretch band. So for folks who might have difficulty moving, have bad knees or joint pain, you know, you can sit in your chair and do some simple chair exercises. Um, here's a little screenshot on the top right corner about arm raises. Uh, we also make sure that, you know, we can build up to 10,000 steps. So taking these tiny actions to say, you know, let's walk around the block today and this week. Next week, let's walk around two blocks around your place, things like that. Um, then we move on to care coordination and quality. So we want to make sure you have a complete care team. So if you have diabetes, making sure you're connected to your primary care physician, you're connected to your pharmacist, your endocrinologist, making sure you're getting your eye exams and your foot exams because all those are so crucial to making sure your diabetes is under control. Um, if, for example, you don't have an optometrist for an eye exam, we'll help you find one that's in your network, that's near your place, that's accepting new patients. So we're, we're here to help you to make sure that you can check off all those things from your list. Um, the eighth module is reducing smoking and alcohol. If, you, if you're currently smoking or drinking, we'll help you reduce that. Um, the ninth module is stress management. So making sure you're able to you know, better manage your stress, whether that's mindfulness, um, different tricks and tips on how to sleep better at night, not watching TV, things like that. And then finally, we move on to health budgeting. So making sure that you've set up a good um, budget to make sure you can allow for vitamins, any other supplements, or any other medical equipment that you might need to buy. Now, if, for example, you join the program and you really just want to work on exercise first, then we can move up the exercise module and say, great, let's work on exercise, and then we can tackle some of the other things. So you don't have to follow the program in this set structure. You can work with your health advisor to make sure that we're addressing the needs that you want to immediately. We provide a lot of next level support. Um, so we'll do customized action plans. So again, based on your conditions, um, based on you know what, what barriers you might have, we can create different exercise plans and meal plans if you're vegetarian or gluten-free. Um, another cool thing that we do is we help you create a cool medication chart. Um, a lot of times patients might not have the most updated medications list. So we'll ask you to you know, share the name and the dosage and how many times. We'll create you a pocket-sized laminated medication chart. We'll make you a nice 8.5 by 11 medication chart and say, you know, make sure and share this with your care team so everybody else knows the different medications you're on. 
Um, we kind of each a local resources, so making sure you have support groups if you do want to talk about your condition with other folks um, for that additional support. We help you making sure, like I said, finding appointments, finding other clinicians in your network. Um, we help a lot with insurance, insurance issues, so if you're confused to, you know, what's the deductible, what's the EOB, I just got denied this treatment, uh, how can you help me? We'll help you making sure that you filled out the right forms, you know where to send it to, what to say, things like that. Um, and we have a whole host of terrific resource partners that I've listed below. We work with PillPack. They are um, a really cool company that pre-sort and deliver your medications based on your different dosages. We work with SHIP, which is a national grocery delivery service. So through our partnership, we're able to provide our members a discount. Um, Nourish creates uh, meals that all you have to do is heat up. Again, we've provided a discount to our members, so some of that financial burden has been decreased. And then, of course, we work with Needy Meds um, to hand out copay assistance cards. So our results, um, you might be wondering, in just 12 weeks are very terrific. In diabetes, as you can see, we've seen a 1.12 reduction in A1C, which we always like to joke here that if this was a pharmaceutical drug, it would be a blockbuster. But this is just uh, through lifestyle changes to eating better, to exercising better, and sleeping better. Um, you can see this change, if not more, in 12 weeks. Um, with asthma, we've seen a 56% reduction in asthma attacks. We help folks making sure how to properly store their inhalers, how to clean their inhalers, um, how to use them. In cancer, we've seen a 33% uh, decrease in fatigue, and in RA, we've seen a 52% reduction in flares. So just imagine, you know, if you have one of these conditions and you're 12 weeks later starting to feel better, not as exhausted, not as stressed out, it, you, you start feeling better. Um, and across all conditions, we've seen about a 6% reduction in ER visits. We've seen increased medication adherence. And on average, about a five pound weight loss. And this is excluding our cancer patients because we wanna make sure they are gaining weight, not losing weight. So um, a couple of other cool stats that you know, we always like to share. About 76% of our members achieve their quarter legal. So you know, not everybody's perfect, not everybody's gonna make 100, but it's pretty cool to see that roughly one in four of our, or three in four of our members, I'm sorry, are able to set and achieve those goals. 74% um, of our members save money on healthcare, um, and our members on average see less emotional problems, higher self-efficacy, and more sleep. I mean, who doesn't want more sleep, right? So the good thing is, is that our members really enjoy this program. They appreciate the support. These are just some of the screenshots that we have here. Um, this guy, Anthony, his A1C is now 5.4. He you know, decreases his weight from 215 to 172. He's actually gotten off a lot of his medications because he's no longer, you know, his numbers are under control. He's walking, he's exercising. Uh, this person over here, they just really enjoy working with their health advisor, getting a healthy weight. Uh, this guy over here on top, again, seen terrific reductions in A1C. Uh, in just three months, that he went from a 10.2 to 6.7. So we have tremendous success stories. We are always excited to share those and cheer these members on. Uh, like I mentioned earlier in the presentation, our doctors enroll patients, and we've got a great set of doctors uh, who are in our network. So these are just some of the quotes from our doctors, you know, helping my patient on a day-to-day -day basis, knowing that someone is out there is great. Um, Dr. Dodson considers this an extension of what he wants to do for his patients when they leave his office. Um, Dr. Kitchens believes that this is great because of the constant reminders to help them keep on track. Um, and now the last question that we generally get is, you know, who are our health advisors? So I briefly mentioned they are non-clinical, so we purposely chose not to hire nurses or doctors because it's sometimes tough for them to draw that clinical, non-clinical line. So we want to make sure that if you have any clinical questions like, hey, should I change my medication dosage or should I stop this medication? We'll say, hold on, let's call your doctor, your nurse, your PA, your care team, and let them answer those questions. We're just here to make sure that you're taking your medications on time and if you have any questions about you know triggers to remember or um, 
need help with payments and stuff like that. So our average health advisor is about 29 years old. Um, we do have slightly more females than males. And all of our health advisors are um, certified in the International Consortium of Health and Wellness Coaching. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, they have educations and expertise in biology, nutrition, social work, public health, uh, and other fields. So we like to really have a great health advisor team here. Um, we've built these functional expertise to create teams. So our health advisors focus in, if you remember on the earlier slides, on either pulmonary, autoimmune, cardiometabolic, or other. Um, they often get together once or twice a week. So if there's a member who might you know, need an out-of-box solution or presents a unique case, these health advisors can work together to help that member out. Um, we have a very intense training onboarding program, so we start off with motivational interviewing, making sure you're a good active listener, how to set SMART goals, um, learning a lot about those theories and behaviors, making sure they're HIPAA certified, um, shadowing, making sure they're getting that certification, and then the culture, you know, we're a fun environment here, our health advisors have a blast, um, and so they just love collaborating and working together. And now it's very easy to get started. Um, this is a screenshot, so if you all want to write down this link here, it says packhealth.com slash needymeds. You'll see the needymeds logo on one side, the packhealth logo on the other side. And I took a screenshot of the top of the page. Would love for everybody to watch this video. Um, it's a quick one minute video, and it's got some video testimonials of some of our patients. Um, if you scroll further down, then you'll be able to see this form. Um, again, this form is super simple to get started. Uh, we don't ask for any, uh, you know, what's your insurance policy number, what's your credit card number, nothing of that nature. All we need is your name, your email address, your phone number, birthday, uh, your mailing address, so we can send you the pack. Um, and you don't even have to memorize any promo code. And then you just click the drop down menu and, I'm sorry, click the drop down menu, you pick the condition that you want help with check the terms and conditions, and you get assigned a health advisor and you get started on your journey. So, super simple. Um, there, there's me, so if you have any questions, there's my email address, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you have. Um, be sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We have really good blog posts that we post that is open to everybody. So um, if you're interested, you know, we share, you know, seven tips on how to stay hydrated or seven ways on how to travel with IBD or here's a new resource partner we're collaborating with. And so you can just kind of stay up to date and see what else is going on here in the healthcare field. So um, would love for y'all to follow us, like us, and more importantly, get started on this program. Um, I'm going to go back to this slide. Feel free to write this link down, share it with anybody within your network, and they can get started on this awesome three-month support program. Uma, thank you so much for that very thorough um, and enthusiastic explanation of what PAC Health does. Um, if you wanted to go ahead and, and change the screen so I can grab it from you and I'll re in the meantime I'll remind everybody that you can go ahead and type any questions you may have into the questions section of your go to webinar control panel and we're going to um, field those questions over to Uma in just a moment. Um, before I go ahead and supplement some of what you said and give a little bit more feedback and hopefully other health, um, health cost, cost saving resources, is there anything else you'd like to add Uma? I think that's it. Um, like I said, Carla and I will be happy to answer any questions you have. Um, and if there's a personal question or something, you know, that's directly individualized to you, you've got my email address, and I'd be more than happy to answer questions that way. Great. And that's, I'm glad you actually mentioned that because, as you can see, um, Uma gave a really thorough um, presentation about what PAC Health can offer. Um, and I certainly say um, they're being generous in extending um, this this free health coaching to needy meds users. Um, if you're able, I would say absolutely take advantage of it because as the statistics show, um, 
and I know me personally, the difference is certainly just having somebody to be personally accountable to, somebody that you know you're going to check in with regularly, somebody you can turn to to ask for questions or just some, some motivational support um, really is invaluable. Um, as Uma mentioned, we consider ourselves um, a partner, NeedyMath is a partner of PAC Health because our missions really do align, which is um, helping people to take better care of themselves. Um, the way we fill the need is a little bit different, as you all know, from PAC Health. Um, and I'm not sure if you gave the screen back to me, Uma, if you get a chance, go ahead and do that. Um, but one of the ways, some of the other ways that we, we um, thanks, I am going to go ahead and grab it and everybody should be able to see my screen now. Um, in addition to Needy Meds being able to provide a drug discount card or copay card that Uma mentioned earlier, there are also a number of ways in which we can provide cost savings assistance. Um, so I would recommend that at your leisure, if you're not already familiar with the Needy Meds website, please check out the patient savings tab. And I put up just right here about four different ways, and I included the drug discount card on ways, on databases, excuse me, that you can search for cost savings programs when you're looking for health specifically related to a diagnosis. And again, all of these databases can be found under the patient savings tab of the Needy Meds website. And that contact information is right there. So we encourage you to check out www.needymeds.org or you can always feel free to call our expert counselors at, the, at our toll-free helpline. And there's underneath that, of course, the direct contact information for PAC Health. For everybody participating, you should have received a, um, I put a PDF of UMA's PowerPoint on your registration. Don't worry if you weren't able to download it. I know sometimes um, this platform gives some people a little bit of difficulty with that. So please know I will be following up with you via email to provide you with a copy of the PowerPoint presentations and the link so you can go ahead and take advantage of this invaluable resources that is being offered to us by PAC Health. Um, and Uma, I do have some questions coming in. Yeah. Um, Let's talk about for clients maybe that found conditions or that are living with conditions outside of those mentioned in today's grant. What is the normal charge for this? How do they come on board? Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, for sure. So um, like I mentioned earlier, we write grants and receive funding that way for different programs that we get um, approval for throughout the year. Now, um, if you see a condition that you have that we uh, have a program for but don't necessarily have a grant, you're welcome to go online and you, you have the option to purchase the program. It's a $99 activation fee and then $30 a month for every month you're active. Um, if you, for whatever reason, if there are financial burdens right now, you're unable to do that, we'd be more than happy to put you on a wait list. And so once we have funding for that specific program available, we'll reach out to you and say, Dear so-and-so, thank you for your interest. We now have funded programs. Um, with that, the only catch is, is we're not sure when the next time we're going to get funding. It might be a month. It might be three months. It just depends on um, the grant folks. Um, they, they have all the power. So you're welcome to purchase online. And again, if you're not able to for whatever reason, we'd be more than happy to place you on our wait list. Thank you. That really does cover um, the, you know, it really covers all bases. Um, just to be clear, I have a couple of questions coming in. I think this was addressed, but I think it's important to stress. Um, the, the particular conditions that you referenced in today's webinar and the link we're going to provide people with, they won't have to pay anything. Is that correct? That's correct. So like I showed the screenshot, um, there was no slot there to enter any sort of bank information or card information. Um, it's purely free. If we don't have a credit card, there's no way we can charge you. That's what we always say. That's so 100% free. We truly are here to help you and support you um, so you can better manage your chronic condition. 
Right, and I know also, thank you, because I know um, the um, the team at Pack Health also went out of their way to make it easy so that people can literally just click on the link and, and get started immediately. They don't need a, a specific code. They don't need any fancy registration instructions. So it's tr pretty straightforward. And here's another question. I believe I know you addressed this, but it's an important one to drive home. Um, people do not have to meet with their health advisor in person. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. So we're based out of Birmingham, Alabama. Um, a lot of our health advisors have a very nice southern accent. Um, so we will call you over the phone once a week. We'll also text you, email you, send you snail mail if that's what you prefer um, for additional content. But we are not going to ask you to you know, drive to some sort of clinic or a health fair, anything like that. Uh, for our Birmingham population, you know, if there's some sort of cool event going on, we'll invite them to say, hey, you know, we're going to be at the park for this event. You're welcome to join us. But on a day-to-day -day basis, um, it's at your own time. You can take these calls from your office, from your home, wherever you're comfortable at your own time. And I think, again, that's one of the invaluable uh, resources um, or advantages to um, getting guidance by PAC Health is, again, not only the accountability um, and the expertise, um, but also the fact that it really is on your own schedule. So with that being said, we're going to wrap up today's presentation. I do hope everybody that's participated takes advantage of uh, joining up for free um, if it applies. And, and again, stay in touch with UMA if there is a particular condition that wasn't covered and you'd like to go ahead and get on that wait list. It's definitely worth just an email. It won't take up much of your time. As I said, you'll hear from me with a follow-up email shortly after we wrap up. Um, thank you so much, Uma, for explaining PAC Health and certainly to the rest of the team for offering these resources to needy med users. And everybody, I do hope you join us for some of our future webinars. Thanks, everybody, and have a wonderful rest of the afternoon. Take care. Thank you.